PeachTools.com. G'day guys, great to see you here again today. Hey, another beautiful day here in the South Pacific. Anyway, today what I'm waffling on about, today what the old git's going on about is these things here. The old guide for the old plasma cutter torch um, for cutting circles and that sort of thing. I don't know if you've seen the uh, other videos, I'll put a link in the description below. And These things are not all created equal. Um, some of them look really good. Anyway, have a look at the other video and, and see what you think, but I wouldn't give you two cents for the other ones because they don't make sense what they're doing. Anyway guys, same as usual, if you like my videos, subscribe, drop me a like, drop me a comment, come say good day to me at peachtools.com if you want to, and uh, let's see if Pete can actually cut a circle out with one of these things, eh? Yeah! Right, if you're using one of these things guys, first thing you'll notice is it's really well made, I like the way it's made, it's good. It's uh, got a double collar on it as well, so you can actually get the internal bit to swing independently from the external piece which is good, you just undo that and then it gives you the rotation there so you can either use it like a compass or you can use it like a, like a basically a straight edge. Uh, when you're using a PT31 torch, this guide will only work on the extended consumables. It won't work on the short consumables because this being a drag tip and if you put the shorter consumables in like this then you've got too much gap between the end of your torch and the work and it won't ignite. So just remember that guys, it's a trick for young players if you're using one of these, make sure you're using the extended consumables on your torch. I think 90% of people use the extended ones anyway, but I like to use the shorter ones every now and then. Anyway, enough waffle for me. Let's see if we can actually cut a circle. Yeah! So guys, like I said, just stick your torch in like so. Make sure the wheels are, are moving as well as you're touching the tip on your work. Get your little Allen screw thing here and just tighten up from the back and the front. Make sure it's tight, but not too tight. Well, the sound of that, guys, I think I just crushed my shield. Let's have a look, see if Pete buggered it up. <laughs> Let's have a look, did you crush your shield? No, I didn't. Just made that funny sounding noise. Watch that, guys, don't do it up too tight. <laughs> but it's just got to be tight enough, but not too tight, guys. So what I'll try and do guys is do like a half circle maybe around here or something and see if it cuts alright. What you're going to need to do first is drill a hole like here and about half the distance of whatever you want your full circumference of your circle but we're only going to do like a half circle anyway so I only need to measure it from this side if you know what I mean because I'm not going all the way over. So if we go about there, pull them out a bit and do a big half circle like so. So if we blow a hole about here, you're supposed to drill this guys but you know anyway I'm not going to, can't be bothered. And also guys, if you take the bloody guide off before you do that hole, it makes life a lot easier. <laughs> so what we'll do guys is to measure up how big a circumference we want. So do you want to go around there Pete? Maybe around there, around to here, what do you reckon guys, something like that? Let's have a look. Or maybe pull them in a little bit more so we get a bit of a tighter curve. How about from there, round to there. A little bit more maybe. Right, so if I do them up there, this is going to give us half the circumference of the circle, guys. But remember, I'm only doing half a circle anyway, so. Because I haven't got a big enough piece of metal. <laughs> anyway, guys, let's kick that in the guts, see if it works, eh? Still all right, guys. Don't go too fast though. Nice even speed. Looking good. Looking alright. See how the torch moves independently of the guide. Let's have a look. See how we're looking. What do we end up with guys? Look at that! <laughs> Not perfect. I think I went a little bit too fast. That's why I had to clip it off. And also notice now that my plasma cutter is only running on three quarter power, which probably wouldn't help Pete either. <laughs> anyway, guys, that's about the gist of it. So you've got a nice curve here. You wouldn't do that by hand. So you know, all in all, it's all right for a cheap little um, guide. I think these are about thirty-five bucks or something. But these. Check my other video out for these. They look exactly the same as these, but these are just bleh. I wouldn't buy one of these, but 
Like I say, I might be wrong. Check out my other video and I'll, I'll show you what I mean with these things. So guys, hope that helped you out a little bit if you're trying to cut circles or cut some sort of shapes or something. But this is quite a good guide because it gives you lots of control. And I like the way the torch can move independently from it, which is all good. So yeah, I'd give this one here a thumbs up. But I wouldn't give this one here house room. I think this is just rubbish. But anyway, that's just my opinion. Like I say, have a look at the video about these. Because uh, these are definitely a lot cheaper. These are about five bucks or six bucks or something. They look really good, but same as me. I look pretty good too, but I'm old and decrepit. <laughs> anyway, guys, same as usual. If you like my video, subscribe, drop me a like, drop me a comment. Come say good day at peachtools.com. And Pete will be back in the next couple of days to tell you a whole lot more bullshit. Anyway, guys, take care. Peachtools.com.com.